Alright, so I took a huge, I took a big break from YouTube. I had to take a break. It was getting to be a little too much. I was spending too much money, spending too much time making doo doo videos, pay some shit off, and I just really, really got tired of manufacturers coming out with a new car and it's eight hundred dollars and then you want to upgrade it you got to upgrade it it's another four or five hundred you don't have to but that's part of the hobby for me it is so i got really tired of it tired of spending tons of money so i'm going to stick with what i got still going to get some new ones but not like i was i'm going to get back in it so let's get back to the doo-doo that being said Alright, heavy metal fucking, heavy metal ripped. This thing, it's pretty badass. Those of you probably already know, I love the rift. A lot of people hate on it. A lot of people hate it. I love it. I went a little crazy. I sold a car and bought tons of upgrades. I don't even know where to begin. Trio axles, front and rear, all trio links, all new, a new, whole new bearing kit, hot racing diffs i added a sway bar to the front as you can see in there here's i got some better pictures uh metal skids metal body panels castle copperhead system i got a little two speed servo in there this is two speed it was a pain in the ass to get to uh change gears properly a lot of uh shaving and you can watch exo cage shit for that amazon Sway bar, rear rear sway bar, black mambas, pretty sweet. A metal transmission case that is not trio, that is just an Amazon one. These are links for a low C Baja Ray, not super Baja, just 10 scale Baja Ray. They actually fit, and they're pretty cheap. Actually cheaper if you buy them like this. Got a re shock relocators. Sway bar does t barely touch. Barely touches. Uh, it does touch, I know. No, maybe not. Well, if, I mean, if it's moving side to side, but I mean, air, it's about perfect. All right, it's a little windy, but we'll be all right. I put the wider hex adapters here. One thing about these Mambas with these Proline wheels is that nut is not fully on. So if anything goes wrong, it will more than likely be that nut. First official run. Here's second gear. Do the piskin, the end points right, and trimming down that transmission so it does. Uh, we need to gear smoothly without popping out. Like I said earlier, Exo Cage has a really good video on that, showing how he had what he had to trim, how he trimmed it. The best bet for this thing is obviously in the woods. Damn. All right, put it in first gear. Ooh, that's a tiny gravel. Definitely need some speed to get up that. There you go. Working just fine.
It's pretty good in slow motion, right? Oh. It's all first gear. Oh, I forgot to show this. See, I have these uh, skids, these metal skids, They're diffs. Pretty sweet. Did shim those diffs fairly tight. Always have nice tight diffs. Better be a little stiff and wear end and loose. Whenever it feels just right, one more shim. But I do. You know, I thought it was gonna be too wide because it's like goofy wide, ridiculous, but honestly, perfect. It would have flipped a thousand times with the stock tires and how narrow it was. See, you don't need to buy a full bit of on to have a mega rift. Every time I buy a bit of on part, I feel like I got raped. Honestly, thought I was gonna be raped for it. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous how much those little pieces of aluminum are. Absolutely ridiculous. And you can say what you want, alright? Because everyone knows it's the truth. Well, that's because they do this, they do that. I don't care what the reason is. It is way overpriced. <laughs> way overpriced. They're the ones that ruin the fun for me. Tell you what, the other thing is smooth as hell. With that castle system, the best. Pricey, but the best. Oh yeah. 20 million in the rear, it's not locked. Badass. Oh, yeah. You know what it is also? Cause I'm like, damn, this thing's a lot more stable. That front sway bar, I guarantee you that adds a lot. Probably won't do as good in the woods. Crawling with that thing, crawling around the branches. But damn, sure does make it a lot more fun out here in the open. Anyway, good to be back. Those of you who stuck around, thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.